Hi, welcome back. I just received a little bit of bad news today. I tried four times in saying that line and none of them sounded good. Don't know if I've told you guys, I'm sure I did, that I've been having a lot of hip pain lately. And this past maybe year, six months to a year that I've noticed, coming up the stairs, it's like I am weak in my legs and painful in my hips, for sure. I feel like my stairs go up one set and then turn and then go up another set. I can go up the first set fine, but going up the second step is very excruciating and I struggle. I feel like I have to pull myself up with the rail. And with that being said, if I have to like make two trips, I can't do it unless I wait for at least 30 minutes. So if I buy groceries, I either have to bring the cold stuff up first and wait a little bit and then go back down there not too long after for the second load. Or I will just grab everything and really struggle up the stairs. And I mean struggle. So I went to my doctor today and was telling her this. And I'm like, I don't know if it's my age. I don't know what. And then I told her about my MRI I had on my hips back in 2019. And I said, I, I still have my hip pain this morning before I go any further. My left hip is the worst. My right hip hurts, but not as bad. But this morning I got up and I must have slept on my right side all night. I don't know. But when I sat up, it was excruciating. And then when I put my feet on the floor, my first thought was, oh no, I've waited too long. Because some people do wait and they suffer badly. So I kind of forced myself to walk. And the more I walked, the less painful it became. Still painful, but not as bad. I was telling my doctor about the MRI. And I said, I think it stated that it was just inflamed nerves. I said, but that was 2019. I hope it didn't get any worse. And as she's reading it out loud, my heart dropped. And she said, no, it's inflamed tendinitis. And then she's like, tendinitis, tendinitis. And she goes, what it is, is it's like a really bad inflamed part of the tendon that is really bad. Uh, she went on to explain it, but I cut her off and I said, I know exactly what that is. And I didn't think it was my hips because I thought it was nerve. I said I had the same thing with my right shoulder, the same thing with my Achilles, and now this one. And I told her that my surgeon, two of my surgeons actually, had said the same thing and they said all you have to do is just <laughs> wait for the other one to get bad now this one is bad and and that's next so she's kind of like oh and she knew i've had surgery but i'm sure she forgets because she sees so many people so that kind of let me down and freaked me out but as I sat there while she was searching around for things, it hit me. Oh, well, they don't need to replace my hip. They'll just have to go in, cut my tendon, debris it, and then latch it back on somehow. I can't remember how they did my shoulder and Achilles, but they put an anchor point somewhere on my bone. They had to screw it in. And then they would attach it somehow with something. I don't exactly remember what. But now I have to go to physical therapy in which I'm okay with. But if they want me doing squats and stuff, I can't do it because I cannot get back up. I have no strength and it hurts. After that, she said that I will have another MRI. And then probably after that, I'll have to schedule surgery. She can't say, well, yeah, you're going to have to have surgery. She can't because she's sending me to ortho. And then they will say, yeah, you'll, you're going to have surgery. Because you know how people are. They come back and said, well, you said I'm suing you. You know how that is. Another thing is 
I live upstairs. If I have surgery, I cannot climb those stairs. So I have to find a downstairs apartment. Isn't she pretty? She kind of got me upset because I've been home for a while now and 